let's move on here to Puna Ford defensive tackle. And it's been, you know, widely, I guess, expressed by Brandon Bean and other content creators out there that the need to add to this defensive line was really evident. And I forgot who asked. I think it was Joe Biscalia, but he, or maybe it was Ryan Tab- Tablet, but, or, you know, I don't know. But they just asked him straight up, like, were you uh, like annoyed that you couldn't add anything to the d- defensive line? And he more or less said, yeah, you know, it just didn't make sense. There were players on there that I wanted to grab, but it just, it wasn't a good value pick. And as a Bills fan watching this, I was just thinking to myself, like, oh, my God, where where are these? Where is the help? We have no one signed beyond next year. So what does Brandon Bean do? He signs defensive tackle Puna Ford to a one year deal. Now, this player gets me really excited, but that doesn't really change the fact that we don't have defensive linemen or defensive tackle signed after next season, really. So that's still a need. That's going to be that's going to have to be addressed sometime down the road. But I, what I really like is that Puna Ford, it, like again, there was mutual interest, just like Latavius Murray. Hey, I want to come to the Bills. I want you as a player. I'll take less money to come to you. Let's just see how the draft shakes out. And clearly, it shook out into Puna's favor, or rather, the Bills' favor. It, it was just a mutual agreeing, like, hey let's make this marriage work. Come on for the bills. I know you're kind of, you know what? Also sidetrack. This guy remind you ever watch big hero six. Mm-hmm. You know how like the uh, big, big max or whatever his name, Bigsby or whatever. I am Baymax. Baymax, Baymax, Baymax. I swear Puna Ford is shaped like Baymax. You know, he's, he's kind of on the shortest obviously, but his arms from what I heard from like, <laughs> Uh, his arms, from what uh, I heard from Joe Marino, are like the like, common length for someone who's like six eight. <laughs> <laughs> a condor out there. Yeah, the man could like do like a twist top and just like fly away. <laughs> yeah, there. So there's there's a ton of, I I really like about this signing, and this is this is a move that makes me feel way better about the draft because it, like D tackle was high on my priority list going into the draft. And um, same with DN, like there was big names out there in the free agency market, but when the draft ends, now you're in bidding wars with teams. You're, you know, you're hoping that somebody wants to come to your team. And one of the most amazing things about this to me is he supposedly had a bigger offer on the table and took less because he said, I'm going to go chase down a chip with the bills, Um, which is, Mm -hmm such an amazing place that we got to compared to, you know, where we used to be trying to bring in free agents. Um, Mm. As far as the, the one year contracts go, it's, it's still obviously a concern on the table. Um, I think they're going to go into this season and just try to get the best version of everybody. Like, Hey, Oh yeah. There's going to be two, three, four contracts out there. Like who's going to earn them. And I think you're going to get the best version of all these players. I think Puna Ford fits this defense perfect. You know how uh, our pass rush, we love to, you know, get pressure up the middle and contain from the edges and just kind of push that pocket. That's the exact type of pressure he can get up the middle. Um, definitely more of a run stuffer, but he's... Yeah, I think they're going to put him at one tech for sure. Yeah, but he'll he'll affect the quarterback as well, and... Just all around, I, I couldn't be more excited about this this player. And hopefully, you know, we, we see some stuff and he can get an extension. Um, but I, I think I think the Ed Oliver trade is kind of out the window at this point. Oh, yeah. And that's not play, happening. Playing next to Puna Ford and Daquan Jones in a contract year when he's trying to go cash in and get that bag. I, I think that's going to be a, a really awesome pairing on, on that defensive line. Right. Now, the next thing that Brandon Bean needs to do, in my opinion, is get some edge presence. So Justin Houston uh, might be might be someone that I would be excited about. But, you know, we'll we'll just see how it plays out. Right, (laughs) Justin, I I fully anticipate one of those um, veteran DNs being added. Um, There's some great names out there. You mentioned Houston. 
Uh, Melvin Ingram still out there. Um, Jadavian Clowney, if that's your flavor, I'm I'm not too high on him myself. Obviously, has the draft pedigree, but um, it has a, had a really weird career. D but... Ford is he out there? I don't believe so, but I could no, be wrong. not no. Who am I thinking about from the Chiefs? Uh, Frank Clark. Yeah, Frank Clark, not D Ford. I'm I thinking think about he's still out yeah, there as Frank well. Clark. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, definitely some names there. I I'm fully expecting one of those guys. Yeah, he... mix some names up. How do you feel about a one-year contract? 